I want to talk a little bit about an inspiration story. So in your designs, and we're going to be designing some outsoles today, in your outsole designs, I'm hoping that we'll incorporate some inspiration. And in this example here, this is a Kevin Durant shoe. And up there on the top are inspirational images that the designers used to drive some of the graphics on the outsole. So if you look at the outsole, that top outsole, um, those, those graphics represent places that Kevin Durant lived or teams that he played for or significant numbers from addresses. So those are things that are very personal to the athlete. And those kinds of things can help drive some of the inspiration and some of the visual aesthetic of the outsole. Here's another example of inspiration too. We talked a little bit about the white tiger in previous examples. And here we see it again in the graphic on the outsole. So you can see some of the, the line work and the details inspired by the white tiger. Here we have some footwear outsoles inspired by different nautical themes, you know, the waves on the water or the texturing on a boat hull. And there's some classic uh, tread pattern there too that kind of mimics water. So here's three examples of how the designer might use visual inspiration to drive some of the aesthetics on the outsole. And you can use anything, honestly. Architecture is a good one. Here we see a good example of in, uh, footwear and outsoles inspired by architecture. But it can be inspired by anything. And I prepared this little sheet here. So it could be natural imagery. It could be textures. It could be products. It could be technology. It could be other footwear too. And I, I would encourage you to look at examples of footwear and outsoles in the category that you're designing for. So it's really important to have inspiration and be inspired when you start doing these. So I'm gonna switch back my camera here. Okay, so what I'd like you guys to do is print out the outsole template. So we can use that as an underlay. And this is very helpful in keeping the proportions accurate and just helping um, focus on the creativity and not necessarily the proportions. So we're going to do some overlays with that. I've also printed the page of inspiration to help me with my visual imagery and to kind of jumpstart my thinking. I think it's always a good practice to have something to inspire you and to drive your process forward. And imagery, visual imagery is a really great way to, to do that. I think I'm gonna cut a couple of these images out. I like to include these on my drawing to show the viewer what my inspiration was when I was creating these ideas. get started. You know, sometimes the hardest part is just getting started. We'll start with just the silhouettes just to kind of warm up a little bit. You know, we, we didn't talk much about the tread pattern on this shoe, but this is a very classic herringbone pattern. This kind of zigzag pattern is a really great pattern for traction. So I might include some of that herringbone traction Start with let's start with this one. And maybe I'll just start with some of these arcs and circles. Graphics inspired by this floor layout of a basketball court. Similar lines to the basketball. Maybe we use some of these shoes as inspiration for some alternate zoning ideas. Looking at these different 
breakups in this one here where there's these little zone areas with different textures. We haven't talked much about branding, but branding is something that we could start to think about in these concepts. nice to have a story to go with your ideas so that there's a little bit more to it than just graphics so we're we're going to talk about the court as inspiration the ball as inspiration and we haven't really introduced the netting but there's this interesting diamond pattern that is created by the netting Maybe there's something we could do with that. And I think I might introduce this diamond pattern again here. Maybe we might need some herringbone up in the toe area here. One last thing, we should probably add a few notes on here. Some of this imagery was inspired by the court, the basketball court. Some of the imagery was inspired by this net. Some of the imagery was inspired by this basketball and some heritage, uh, herringbone textures. So let's add, let's add a few notes on this page just to remind us of what we were thinking when we did these sketches. 